force the stagecoach to stop. You know, I wanted to turn, but I... Again, I get these, like, weird things where I can't turn my horse. It's like a weird wall. I shot his hat off. Oh God! Somebody help! God damn it! Don't do this! Hold it right there. Hold I need money. I know about the money. Hand it over. I don't know what you're talking about. You may as well tell me. Save yourself some pain. Where is it? I can do this all day, pal. Please, no. Last chance. Give me something worthwhile. You won't like what happens next. Okay, okay, stop. I'll tell you. There's a lockbox hidden under the coach. The money's in there. You better not be lying to me. I'm not. I swear. You say anything to the law, I'll come find you. Don't make I mean, we're not gonna let him run. You live. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're not gonna let him run anyway. Hey, move it! Enjoy the peace and quiet. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Twenty five dollars. Or, you know, paying two dollars just to get it. It's not a bad little deal. And it's, it's I mean, it's just a stagecoach. Is it going to be like <sighs> filled to the Rim with money. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go see what Jose has got going for him over there. Whoa. Man, I couldn't imagine being a horse guy just seeing that camp. And all those bodies, it's like, what the fuck happened? You would have thought bounty hunters and the rider, raider guys, or whatever the hell, just shot each other to death. Like, no, just one man on a rampage with his pistol. I didn't even have my rifle. Oh, I didn't even have the rifle with me. At the time, I think it was just pistol, or revolver, and everything. I love the West, though. Like, the era, just the stuff that you can do with it. And again, I just really like, you know, lever actions, the the revolvers. They're all my favorite kind of stuff. Arthur! You're back. Easy, whoa. You did good. It makes me enjoy this game a lot. Hey, I was going to say, I haven't even studied what the fuck this is. Just a standard leopard horse, huh? Interesting. Alright. I gotta clean my horse. Clean you up a little after all that stuff going on. Take it easy. It's been a shit show. It's getting around that time where maybe we should trim this up a little, this facial hair. Not many of Are we millionaires yet, Mr. Strauss? Good morning. It was good seeing you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. I'm just glad we got Tilly back. man just got 
God, I could never. Like, after being fully bearded, it's just no way. But I still really want to wait. I'm waiting until... God, the fucking hair gel. Sure, do it. I keep finding him. I definitely want to wait, because who knows if it'll get, like, really big after I get to, uh... If at 10, or if it's just gonna be a minor change. I want to wait and see. You recovered? I'll be fine. Hi, Hosea. What's going on with you? Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. And the fact that I... Look at me. Do I look like I'm ready to be in a fucking... Fancy place? I look like I'm about to eat someone's shit. I don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. We look right ridiculous. <laughs> No, 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 pickpocket. Not, well, We're I look ridiculous. Good thing I gelled my hair back. Kind of yeah, mm, tasty. Know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Yeah, this... What the fuck, guys? Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Stop touching this man. <laughs> I won't touch you. <laughs> Please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. Looking for whiskey. To be. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Phil, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I hope somebody was smart enough to carry a secret gun on them. I don't trust jack shit of any of this. Also, I gotta get rid of this marker. It's gonna drive me nuts. Good thing I gelled my hair back, too. Just for the occasion. For the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sand and E High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly. So, how do I smoke this? Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> You'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> oh, nothing wrong with a good whore. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things. Yikes. But a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them. Because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand the letter uh -oh. to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. I'm taken. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. Yes, it's my favorite activity. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Yeah, because this is all... We'll just listen to this guy. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Oh, I want to. I'm just gonna try the door handle real quick. No, don't Gentlemen, judge me. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening, friend. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can. Fuck. Stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Unless it's information, of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find oh yeah, Bill is such a socializing kind of guy. Glass of champagne, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Now you eat. I'm hungry. Hello there, stranger. It's Dutch. Yes, I'll take a champagne. I am not. I don't have a drinking problem at all. Mm, this is some good champagne. I thank you for this. Hello, sir. How was the show? I heard you went. Outrageous. These dancers. Well, if that's Hello there, mayor. I like my drink. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Uh, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it. I don't think there's up. anything left in here. I will not deny it is <laughs> he so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. We'll see you and me too long. How do you do? Yeah, calling him that, you fucking piece of shit. Come on, sleep it off. Is 
Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can read. It just fucking does that. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. I'm okay. Did the game just crash? I hope you're enjoying my No, it's a load screen. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Right <laughs> it's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in That's bad, really abrupt. A good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, that's fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Yeah, we've, now, we have such great friends with him. How do you do, man? You want to bang? You want to fuck? Hello, ma'am. Hello there. Oh, oh, how do you do? How do you do? So, have you heard anything about any uh, bounty hunters in these parts? How are you? Just <laughs> a random question. You know anything about bounty hunters? I've been attacked by 20,000 of them, but, you know. Sir. Sir, can you rub my beard? Problems? Everything's fine. Yeah, this doesn't look suspicious. I am a flower. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <laughs> yeah, how do I do what? I don't understand. Marie. How do you do? Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! Okay. You will not have stand oh, hi. I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I do hope you understand. <sighs> Forgive me. I was unaware. Don't slip in this house. <sighs> Awkward. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Where did he go? Oh, he went to the other room. I thought he went upstairs. Or did he? No. Went through here. Look at me. Could you think oh, you now I just want to punch you in the face. The likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. You're this slipping. A warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. My fist to his face is slipping. Oh, that was easy. Why even lock it then? Mr. Le 
Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Hmm. I would get the fuck out of here if I can't read this, but. Well, I will uh, just be on my way. I'm just a bearded man that's just lost. I was looking for whiskey. Bonjour, monsieur. Do you Hello. mind? <clears throat> Fine, anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. I've been done for a while here. There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the Why one the thing fuck we would need. we touch There's a bank? There's also trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Oh no. Don't tell me about a poker game. Don't tell me you're gonna want me to do a poker game. I'm bad at poker. You saw how long it took me just to beat John Marston. Here comes Lenny. Alright. Let's get in. <clears throat> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. If I lick it a little, it'll give me some ideas. Lick, lick. He's gonna wipe his ass with it, put it back in the ledger. He's like, look, I pranked the mayor. Shit out his ledger. Piece of paper. Oh, good, I slept in my clothes. Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this like trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. What, was I what the hell? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm, I feel like I was laying here, and now I'm not. There, there wasn't the beds over there. You know, I'll take some ammo. Feels good. Can I even picked this up yet. No, I, I, st I still don't need this horse stimulant. We have a question mark. Stranger. Help in the middle lobby. All right. We have. Travel away. The artist guy with more problems. And who knows what else? Who even knows? What? Ah! Jesus Christ. It's like it's so painful. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right. About what? 
saying to me. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. Oh, boy. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> That's just a silly old wives' tale. What? Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you? Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're both insane. Hey How are you today, Arthur? You look well. Thank you, Arthur. This air must be doing you good. Okay, then. Yeah, it's making your boobs bigger. Looking great. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. <laughs> Don't mention God, I'm Grimshaw. sorry, Susan or Miss Grimshaw. Please cover morning. those up. With that face, it shouldn't Thank be you. like that. I think. They look like they're dying. My God. Please. Well, I'm feeling a little bit. Oh, just, I just want some stew. Good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh no, we don't need you getting in no more trouble. Where is Jack? Right, I think yeah. I still got that book. I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Get Watch some jets, out, kid. Bill. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, I got this book for you, Jack. It's been forever for me to find you. Can I please give it to you? Can you stop doing whatever animation you're doing so I can give this to you? I hope I still have it. Good. Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it in your camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Oh, you found a chocolate bar. I would have laughed if it was like a rifle. I found this near camp. Just holds the fucking gun out. Aaron boy. What I'm good at. Once there's anything else I need here. So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? <laughs> hey, what did I do? <laughs> I just love giving him shit. Ah, oh, great, you. Fuck off. Oh, I don't want to play dominoes. Oh, I love it. 